Hey guys, it's Brittany. So today I thought I would just do a little update video on how my anxiety is going. If you haven't seen my first anxiety video, I will link that down below so you guys can check that out and get a little bit more information about my anxiety and the background of it and all of that. So it's been about three weeks to a month since I made that last video, so I thought I would update you guys since a lot has been going on since then. When I first went to the doctor and told him about my anxiety. He prescribed me um, sertraline, 50 milligrams of sertraline, and sertraline is basically the generic for Zoloft. Zoloft is an antidepressant, but a lot of times it is prescribed for anxiety disorders as well. So I was prescribed... Uh, 50 milligrams of sertraline and 0.25 milligrams of alprazolam. And alprazolam is a generic for Xanax and that's take when you need it. So from now on I'm just going to call them Zoloft and Xanax because it's just easier and most people know what those things are. The Xanax was supposed to be take as needed but I really felt like I needed it every day. So I was taking both of those things every single day and a month later I went back to my doctor to talk about how I thought the medication was going and um, you know just a follow-up checkup for the medication and when I was there I told him that I thought I really did think that the medications were working but I had needed to take the Xanax every day and I just felt shaky without it and I just didn't feel quite right without it and he told me well of course if you're taking it every day then of course you need it because your body becomes adjusted to it and you sort of become addicted so um you know he was glad that I felt like it was working but he really did not want me taking the Xanax every day because it is habit forming so what he did was he upped my Zoloft prescription to 100 milligrams a day and he did give me more Xanax to take as needed still 0.25 milligrams the same I was on before and I really feel like upping my Zoloft has helped so much I still take the Xanax every now and then but now it's closer to every maybe once every three or four days sometimes I can go a little bit longer than that but it's there when I need it which is how it's supposed to be used. Now, if you had seen my um, previous video, then you would know um, that a lot of my anxiety is centered around my health right now. I have a lot of health anxiety. And one of the main things is I'm always worried about my heart. I check my pulse constantly. I always feel like my heart is racing or doing something weird. I'm feeling weird pains. So I think something is wrong with my heart. So I was telling my doctor this when I was there to check up on my medication. And I was like, well are you sure that nothing's wrong with my heart? And he tried to assure me, you know, 26 year olds don't have heart attacks. The likelihood that there's something wrong with your heart is very, very slim. And I just kind of kept questioning him. Well, how do you know? Well, I knew someone once that, you know, had a heart attack at 25. And um, I basically questioned him until he was like, all right, if you want to get an echocardiogram, then get one. If it'll ease your mind, fine, you can get one. And an echocardiogram is basically a heart ultrasound. So he went ahead and he wrote me an order for an echocardiogram just to ease my mind a little bit, even though he was sure that nothing was wrong with my heart. So on Thursday, I went to get my echocardiogram done and I did vlog a little bit for you guys just to let you know how I was feeling. Um, so I vlogged a little bit before and after. I didn't end up taking you in to, um, while I was seeing the doctor because I'm not that brave yet. So I will put, um, a couple clips of that in right here. We are on our way right now to get my echocardiogram done. And I'm feeling kind of nervous because in my mind I'm like, well, what if they find something? Which they will not because I basically how do you know my doctor into letting me get this test done and then I'm also thinking what if they don't find something and then will my anxiety just um, turn on another body part of mine and then I'll be worried about something else constantly I don't know all right so we're at the hospital right now we're just um, finding parking but I'm just freaking out a little bit right now I'm really really nervous and I'm like shaking and I keep like trying to tell myself like okay there's nothing wrong with me and the doctor is just letting me get this done so that to ease my mind but I am seriously freaking out a little bit right now and 
yeah, I'm just really scared, and so I thought I would let you guys know. So I'll see you in there, maybe, or maybe I'll see you after. We'll see. Okay, so I just got done with my echocardiogram. I knew I wasn't gonna bring you in there, so sorry about that. I got this fancy bracelet, and I got all these stickers for being such a brave girl. So my technician's name was Kyle, and he just put these like stickers on me and then rubbed the ultrasound thing and it like hurt because he was like jabbing it in there so hard and I think I was driving him a little bit crazy because every time like I heard something I'd be like well does that sound normal well does it look normal is that what it's supposed to look like and he was like well I'm not a doctor but nothing is jumping out at me so that's a good sign but I won't get the results for a day or two because they have to send the results to my doctor my doctor has to look at it so, if I get the results before this video goes up, I will let you guys know how that went, but I'm sure it went fine. So, yeah, and so that was my visit to the echocardiogram. It wasn't as scary as I thought. It took longer than I thought, but all in all, it was all right. So, yeah, back to the rest of my video. Okay. So, you saw before I was really nervous, after I wasn't so much, and, um, yeah. So, I just got the results back from that. I got the test on Thursday, and then on Friday, my doctor's office called with the results. And, um, everything is completely fine with my heart. There's no problem at all. Everything came back normal, which is great news, except... I'm honestly not so sure that it will ease my fears. I, you know, it will a little bit because now I have reassurance that nothing is going on. It's been looked at. Everything is okay. Um, so I just found that information out. So I'm really hoping that does help my anxiety in terms of my health anxiety, feeling like something is wrong with my heart. I am a little bit concerned that it will just turn on a different body part of mine, so that's something I'm definitely worried about, that I will just start obsessively worrying about another part of my body, but I'm hoping that this will calm down my health anxiety a little bit since now my heart has been checked and I have recently had blood work done. There's nothing else going on inside of my body that really is causing any concern to the doctors and that I should really be worrying about, so I'm pretty healthy. Um, and I've been doing this diet and exercise, which does make me feel a lot better, so that helps as well. So, I do feel now that my anxiety is under much better control than it was before. It's not perfect. I still do deal with a lot of anxiety on a daily basis, but I do feel like I am able to function a little bit better day to day. And what I really think I need to work on now is pushing myself outside of my comfort zone because the anxiety has put me in this bubble where, um, you know, I have my safe areas and certain things I feel like are safe and I don't really go outside of that too much. So the medication is helping a lot and I think what's next is for me to really work on myself and start pushing myself outside my comfort zone and trying to do things alone, doing things that recently I've been uncomfortable doing. And so that's the next step for me and that's my plan. I do feel like I will be able to overcome a lot of my anxiety. I don't know if I'll need to be on the Zoloft forever. I might need to be and I might need to only need it for a little bit until I work on myself more. So we'll see what happens with that. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. If you would like to see more of these updates and know in the future how my anxiety has been doing and what I've been doing to manage it a little bit better, then just let me know down below that you'd like to see that. And um, really quick, I just want to, like I did in my last video, I just want to encourage you guys, if you're suffering with any sort of mental illness, or anything like that, don't feel like you have to suffer alone. Just reach out to someone and get help because it will change your life so dramatically and you could be living much better than you are right now. So please, if you are dealing with something, reach out to someone, okay? And thank you guys so, so much for watching and checking up with me. It, um, it means so much to me that you guys watch my videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It would mean so much to me, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys. Have a good one.